Okay. Uh, look, let's look through that. some of those papers with uh, spiked editor Tom Slater and anthropologist Mariana Hotter. Good morning to you both. Good morning. morning. Uh, Tom, let's start with the Mail on Sunday, um, looking at the Rwanda situation. Yes, yeah, so we will not back down on Rwanda, Charles, is the headline here. So very much kind of following on from those explosive reported comments from the prince in the papers yesterday, as well as kind of looking ahead to the battles that Priti Patel still has in terms of implementing this particular policy. We saw that uh, initial ruling at the High Court, which allowed um, the first flight on Tuesday, the deportation flight, to take place. But there's, gonna, there's ongoing legal challenges and, uh, and obviously an ongoing kind of political battle over this policy. Um, I myself don't... Re- don't support this policy. I think outsourcing your migration policy in that way is um, is not a good idea. I think it kind of keeps it at arm's length and also could potentially lead to some quite unpleasant consequences. But I think what this really gets to grips with is the fact of who decides what that policy is. I mean, you've got a government that said it wanted to do something about this, um, which is in the process of passing legislation to do so. And yet you see again, kind of these legal boundaries um, via these legal challenges, essentially trying to stop an elected government from implementing its stated policy. So I think if we're going to challenge policies like this, you've got to do it in the political and democratic realm, not just via the courts, or certainly not via Prince Charles, I would dare say.